All right. So these are survival questions, not survivor the show. Okay. Yeah. The questions if you were, you know, stuck on yep. an island and survivor. Mm-hmm. Yep. These are all true or false questions. Uh-huh. Number one, you can suck venom out of a snake bite. True or false? False. I'll go with. But I'd like to, I'd I'll like, have to go with true because you got him first. In saying that, though, you know, no. how, how heroic would you be? Like you made on the golf course, like gets bitten, you suck it out of his leg, and then you go, hey, mate, I saved I your saved life. I saved your life. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a pretty cool story. It would be a good story. You would yeah. think that there would be more stories like that, though, if you could. So Very true. Yeah. So true. what are we saying? Well, he saying said false, so therefore I have to say true, don't I? You, you don't have to. Oh. <laughs> we could, we could, <laughs> say there's, there's five questions. So we there's could, five questions. We could get four right each, and then you get the tiebreaker. Correct. Because Daniel always has a tiebreaker. Well, we haven't heard too many stories about somebody sucking out snake venom, so I might. Say false. Both false as well. You're both yeah. correct. <laughs> correct. There you go. I talked you into that. So you thank did. me later. No, well, I thought I had to go true because he went false. <laughs> it would so. be bad if you got bitten on like your foot or something and you could do that and you weren't very flexible. Yes. And you're on your own. True. Mm. Yes. Mm. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So when you, if you were stuck on a deserted island or if you mm-hmm. plane crashed or something happened and yep. know, you're in Lost, the TV series, and mm-hmm. there's. Which went nowhere, yep. Yep. Uh, Your first order of business is to find a stable food source. True or false? But hang on, this is is subjective, very subjective. Why would I need to, I might not want to find a food source. I might want to do shelter, I might want to do fire. Correct. So, okay, so the question is, (laughs) is it true or false that your first order of business should be to find a food source first? But it's very subjective. I'll say true. No, I mean, okay. What's the most important thing to find? Is it <laughs> true, shelter? True, true. This is not hard. This is not a hard question. True or false question? It, it is because oh, it's yes. subjective. Well, you need to eat to survive. You don't right, need fine, shelter to survive. True. Yeah, you both it's say probably, true. It's probably false. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible quiz. Um, you made it. No, you can go weeks without food, guys. So you don't need to do that first. Yeah, but drinking you, water. You could probably go we months without shelter. Without seventy-two food. hours without water. Oh yeah, but I and you thought, die. So that's not the emo- well. You got seventy-two hours. You got three days. But you'd think you'd want to get on that pretty no, quick, wouldn't you? No, I'd want to get a good spot by the sand, get a bit of sun. I reckon that's your priority. And I, and I just assumed that water was in the, the food. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought as well. <laughs> I thought thing. that's straight away. Yeah. water. Yeah. yeah. False. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> false. Both tanning <laughs> spot is terrible, the best. Terrible, that's, terrible. What, that's your number one. That okay, true or false one. next. Yeah. We're moving on. True or false. Ten nice percent coconut of- to rest your head on. Ten <laughs> percent yeah. of Earth's water is suitable for drinking. True or false? Hmm. Well, because we've got 10%. so much ocean, I'd say true. False. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we went early on the buzzer. <laughs> she was, Abby was nodding. <laughs> Abby was nodding no, true. No, I also. did not. But I did not nod. We're going to give it to Abby, I think. <laughs> She's not taking it. Uh, it's only 1%. There you go. 1%. There you go. We're an educational podcast. Um, Great. Okay, the North Star always stays in the same place. True. You can answer this first. Star. You know this one, don't you? No, I just said you can answer this first. I've been jumping in, so you can go. The North Star. Because I don't have a clue and I'm just going to base it off yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, false. False. Ah, oh, David. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Apparently moves three quarters of so, a degree from the celestial north. So what's the score? There you go. Uh, Abby's up with one. <laughs> False <laughs> after the buzzer. <laughs> three, two. <laughs> yes. Quizmaster doesn't keep the results. Uh, cool. Last question. So it can be a tie. Have you got a can tie-breaking be, question? I don't have a tie-breaking question. You both get a slab if it's a <laughs> okay. tie-breaking. We've got to move on from this because it's not way too long. <laughs> All right. 8,000 feet is when most people start feeling the effects of altitude sickness. True or False. 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 I did ever. Can you guys what? at least make the game fun? <laughs> They're going to go one or the other. What do you mean? Uh, Are you sure? I beg to differ. 8,000 feet it's is true. What? Oh, I'm trying sh- to think of. You're thinking meters. I was thinking meters. No, well, no, yeah. That's pretty damn about, high. No, but it's about mm. 2,000 meters people would start feeling it. I thought that'd be around. Does that look like my writing? Oh, I thought it was meters. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but I thought 8,000 feet would equate to almost, isn't it like a th- one third to go to meters? I can't remember what feet is to meters. Uh, we're not to be honest, Americans. Uh, Annabelle is a quiz master <laughs> and we're going with Annabelle's question. <laughs> All right, Abby, congratulations. You oh, win the slab. thanks, you guys. Win the slab. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> quiz master over here. 